the tallest goblin dropped the magical packet of popping candy and started to rip open the next layer of the puzzle. Rachel immediately picked up the, the treat and handed it to Shelly. It instantly, instantly shrank to fairy size and Shelly tucked herself into Christie's bag. Popping candy, the goblin exclaimed. When he found his prize, yummy, he had already forgotten about a magical treat. While the goblins continued with their game, the girls slipped away and went back to Anna's party. As they walked in, they could see that the foamy green mass on the floor had vanished. All the candy was back in the bowls. The tablecloth was back on the table, and the room looked clean and tidy again. Even the balloons were bobbing neatly in the groups of red, blue, and green and yellow. It looks great in here, said Rachel, and the other goblins nodded. And the other children nodded happily. Hey, everyone, guess what? Said Tracy. My aunt Helen is going to be here soon with a big surprise. Here she comes, said Rachel. Glancing out the window, Shelley picked up a trusty bag, then hit again. A few seconds later, Aunt Helen came into the hall carrying a huge tick box. While Anna and her and all her dress sat down, diddling, the girls helped lift the tick out of the box. It had two ice layers with stars and an enormous flying saucer on the top. Special candles spelled out Anna's name. It is perfect, said Christy. They watch out they watch as Aunt Helen lit the candles. Then Rachel and Christy lifted the cake together and carried it towards Anna singing happy birthday. All the other children joined in. Anna's mouth fell open in amazement when she saw the incredible cake. This is a special birthday surprise from Candyland, said Rachel. You have been chosen to receive a Candyland Helping Hands Award, Tracy added. They want to thank you for all your hard work and all the money you have raised for the children's hospital. Happy birthday, Anna, everyone cheered. The rest of the Helping Hands Award winners, Ori, Olivia and Tao, gathered around Anna, hugging her and smiling. Congre congratulations, Anna, said Ori, smiling at her. You really deserve it. I am so honored, said Anna, with happy tears in her eyes. Thank you, the cake looks incredible. How do you feel, asked Mrs. Stoltman. And I looked around at her friend's smiling faces, her pile of presents and her wonderful cake. Getting presents and prize is wonderful, she said, but the best feeling comes from helping people. I agree, said Olivia. Three cheers for Anna. All the children cheered as Anna went to cut the cake. Then each guest was given a slice. Yum, said Rachel after her first bite. It is delicious and it even has popping candy in it. When the cake had been eaten up, Mrs. Dortman clapped her hands to get everyone's attention. It is time for a treasure hunt. There are 20 packets of popping candy hidden in the back garden. It is your job to find them all. Everyone charged towards the door, diddling. Trusty and Rachel ran to join in, but Shelley popped out, popped her head out of the of Trusty's back. Hold on, she said. It is almost time for the harvest feast in Fairyland. Do you still want to come? Don't forget, time will stop in human world while you are in Fairyland, so no one will notice that you have been gone. Rachel and Christy held hands and exchanged excited smiles. We love to come, said Rachel. Shelley waved her wand and the girls disappeared in a flurry of magical sparkles.